let's take these images one by one. Let's begin with this big picture. Let's now show you the big picture here. Chinese infrastructure development, especially around the Pangong. And let's begin with this. At the narrowest point at Pangong, there is a bridge that's coming up. And this is very fast, Ankit. The, the pace of uh, making this bridge. The pace is very fast. It has been very fast. Remember, this bridge has been completed in two steps. First started last year, September. Got completed earlier this year in January. But then another parallel structure just adjacent to the first bridge started to surface up in satellite imagery. Now, what's more interesting is that they have left 15 meter wide gap okay. towards the southern end of the bridge. We don't know what the actual purpose of this uh, gap is, okay. but we believe that this gap could be used to you know, bypass either the construction uh, material or assault or petrol boats. General, what do you make of this bridge? North Bank and South Bank of Pengong, so they've been able to link up. Is this to negate India's advantage during the QPQ operations? So that apart, we've been talking about the G695 being built from Mazar and it goes down uh, along the line of actual control and then it crosses Pagongso and goes right up to Arunachal Pradesh. So you know, that road being built is a very major road. This uh, seemingly is a part of that same road construction uh, which will in inevitably come up uh, in times to come. Okay. And the bridge is of course, as you said, narrowest part, it comes across from Pagongso which, we, which is our part which is uh, the finger four and finger eight which we are talking about. Yes. Now the Chinese have a large number of new boats, you know those boats came in there. We had those um, boats from Florida earlier. So the Chinese boats naturally when they have to go for repair or maintenance or things like that, they have to go dock to Rudok. You know the, the lake finishes at Rudok yes. which is on the G219. Yes. So naturally they have to leave a place and the bridge to pass through it. What I think most important is that uh, it implies that they have got a long-term vision into this area. And if you see the construction and you see the habitat being built, well, this is going to be a clear indication that there is no de-escalation de possible. There is no de-escalation possible is what the general says, Ambassador. Is that also your appreciation? These 16 rounds of talks at the level of the core commander, is China just trying to buy time? so that it not only builds, we should realize it's there perhaps for a very long time to come, if not forever. Clearly, uh, Gaurav, this is the, they are here for the long haul and all their preparations point out to that. In fact, the latest uh, uh, actions seem to, in a sense, uh, try to uh, from their perception, try to neutralize as far as possible the kind of advantage which we had gained when we took over control of uh, helmet top and black top in the, in the southern part. Now, they maybe, it's, I don't know whether they think that, that they will not, after having withdrawn from there, they, they don't want to get to us to get a similar advantage in the future. But clearly, our boys will probably look for something else, and I'm sure they're up to giving them uh, one or two uh, surprises in the future because I think we, are, we seem to be quite uh, taking very close uh, uh, a kind of, we have a close calculation of what they are doing. Now let me get back to, in terms of the diplomatic response, I want to recall what our external affairs minister said and that in, in a sense is a response to these kind of things. Uh, uh, Mr. Jayashankar very clearly at the uh, Asia Society Policy Institute talk on Monday said two things. One is that the state of the border will determine the state of relations. He made it quite clear that we cannot, we will not go by what uh, the Chinese have been trying to say that put separate the, the situation on the border from okay. the overall relationship. And that point has been made clear. And clearly he's talked about the three mutuals, that is the mutual respect, mutual interest and mutual sensitivity. The other point which he had made is the larger point about uh, the Asian century. And he talked about the Asian century not being possible if India and China were to work at cross purposes. This has to be seen in the context of, on the one hand, the strengthening determination or the strengthened determination which China is trying to to show to the world in the immediate, in the, in the, in the, in, in the preparations for the 20th Congress, it okay. is party Congress, and I think it is a kind of 
a kind of show which they are making at this stage and I think it also has the larger implications for the India India China relationship and I think and that's China to you remember know we've made it very clear to China that the, the state of relationship side. depends on the we state of the border responses. but does China actually care or is China trying to give India fait accompli once again